my name is Essie and Charlie, and this is my partner Vosi Babani. We are doing the project titled Blood Oxygen Saturation Meter Data Logging. Blood oxygen saturation is the measure of how well blood transports oxygen in your body. At low blood oxygen saturation levels, hypoxemia results, which is life threatening. Hence, it is important to monitor blood oxygen saturation in these circumstances, and that is what our system does. This is the system overview. In the next section, we'll explain each component of the system, then demonstrate the functionality of the system. So the white PVC pipe is uh, the thing at Ipa. It contains two uh, LEDs, red and, inf and infrared, that transmits light through the finger. On the other side, we have a photodiode which detects the amount of light uh, that went through the finger. The black foam is for blocking ambient light and also providing comfort to the finger. So the output from the photodiode is a really small current cor corresponding to the amount of light detected. So the output current is fed to a transimpedance circuit which converts the, the current to a voltage and amplifies the voltage. The amplified voltage goes through the filter, which is the next stage. The bandpass filter filters out frequencies below 0.8 Hz and greater than 5 Hz and further amplifies the voltage signal. The output signal from the bandpass filter is then fed to the microcontroller. The microcontroller is the intelligent part of the system. The microcontroller then identifies the maximum and the minimum values of both the infrared and the red signals. The minimum and the maximum values are then used to calculate the ratio, which is used to calculate the blood oxygen saturation. The blood oxygen saturation calculated by the microcontroller is sent to the Android smartphone using the Bluetooth module 805. The blood oxygen saturation display application is created using an online free open source software called MIT Inventor used to create mobile applications for Android. To demonstrate the functionality of the circuit, we will use the commercial pulse oximeter. So the first part is to connect to the Bluetooth module. And then the application also contains a functionality to save the recorded data on the graph for later analysis. Through the save button, the graph is saved. As demonstrated, the build system is 98% accurate compared to the commercial pulse oximeter. Thank you for watching.